welcome back again guys so we are currently doing atomic and molecular physics quick revision so in this video this is the part 5 we'll be talking about the spectroscopic term symbol for equivalence electrons you know this is one of the most important topics for the upcoming CS standard exam so let's start without any further ado spectroscopic term symbol atomic states are described by the symbol of this form 2s plus 1 l g you know 2s plus 1 this term is the multiplicity multiplicity this is the total spin quantum number and which represents the possible states for j for a given l and s l is the orbital quantum number j is the total quantum number and also l j represents orbital quantum orbital angular momentum and the total angular so let's uh, know the difference that if you are writing like a, this l it represents angular momentum if you are writing like small l that that is the quantum number that is the basic difference and same goes for j and s okay so if l greater than s if then this is the formula s plus one if l less than s the maximum number of possible j will be 12 plus one so this happens very rarely most of the time l is greater than s so that is why 2s plus 1 represents the spin multiplicity. If in any case L less than S you get then the multiplicity will become 12 plus 1. And L is the total orbital quantum number and the value of L0 corresponds to S orbital 1 P sub cell L equals to 2 D sub cell L equals to 3 F G H in this way it will go. So today in this video we are going to talk about the spectroscopic term symbol for equivalent electron so you can give the heading spectroscopic terms for equivalent electrons okay equivalent electron first you need to, you need to understand what is equivalent electron so let's say we have the p sub cell okay and we have let's say p2 so one electron will be here another one will be here so these are all equivalent electron because they are from the same l value when the two electrons share the same l value those are equivalent electron so the first thing you need to keep in mind here any closed cell let's say p6 f14 s2 these are kind of closed cell s2 p6 d10 f14 they will always form they will always form a closed cell always forms one s0 term and you see if you consider let's say the term of p1 then one electron is there right let's say we consider term of p5 then 1 2 3 4 5 so these two are equivalent okay here only one electron one electron and the others are uh, forming pair so term for p5 will be equals to term for p1 in a similar manner term for let's say d8 will be equals to term for d2 and so on now uh, two things are there one is called level another one is called term what is the difference between them? when we write everything 2s plus 1 l j this is called level and when you are only writing 2s plus 1 l without mentioning j that is called term so i hope you will not get confused after this level means everything term means only the head and body part the tail part is not there okay so let's say how to calculate how to decide the spectroscopic term for equivalent electrons one example uh, we will take let's say d2 but before that let's write this rules rules for equivalent electrons so these rules these rules only applicable to equivalent electrodes these rules are not applicable to non-equivalent electrodes remember this thing first thing first 
even s will combine with even l this one you need to remember number 2 odd s will combine with odd l this is only valid for equivalent electrons right so let's consider one equivalent electron this is d2 in d2 one two three four five d2 means one and two so these are these two are equivalent electrons right equivalent electrons so if you consider for the first electron let's say next name then this is electron number 1 this is electron number 2 for electron number 1 what is the spin or uh, quantum number that is half s1 is half for okay let's do it in this way for the first one s1 is half for the second one that is also half so this will give rise to total spin quantum number it may be 0 it may be 1 for the first electron orbital quantum number l1 is equals to spd 0 1 2 l2 is also 2 so total quantum number will vary from 2 minus 2 to 2 plus 2 so 0 1 2 3 4 as i told you even s will combine with even l so dekho zero is considered to be even okay so zero will combine with two and four and zero as well in contrast uh, if we consider s this is this will con the yeah, color change ki mera this will contribute contribute with one and three right so let's go for this s is equals to 0 will combine with l is equals to 0 that will give rise to j is equals to 0 so the corresponding term you know 2s plus 1 lj so what is the level 2s plus 1 lj so this will be 1s 0 next s is equals to 0 will combine with l is equals to 2 and 4 that will give rise to j is equals to 2 and the corresponding term will be 1 d2 and j is equals to 4 that will give rise to 1 g4 on other hand when s is equals to 1 it will combine with l is equals to 1 and that gives you the value of j to be 0 1 2 3. so the corresponding term will be 3 p 0 1 and what about the last term s is equals to 1 And L is equals to three will give rise to J is equals to two, three, four. And correspondingly, the terms will be three, F, two, three, four. So in this way, you can calculate the terms for equivalent electrons. One example we have. This is the example. A uh, question came in June 2016. So let's read this question. Ground state electronic configuration for 22 titanium is 3d2 4s2. Which state is this? And is not possible for this configuration. So, last one is d2. That is, that is what we have to consider. For d2, we have uh, calculated it. So, which of these terms is not appearing here? You can see we get 1s0, 1d2, 1g4, 3p012, and 3f234. So, which one is not there? One F three we did not see here in this calculation. So one F three option A will be the correct option. So I hope you have understood how to calculate the spectroscopic term symbol for equivalent electrons. In the next video we will be talking about the non-equivalent. Okay. Before I end this video, guys, let me tell you that this an academic goal is going on. Stay ahead in your preparation journey. Twenty percent off plus one month extension on CSR English Net subscription. CSR Net subscription. This is valid till May thirty first. You can go for CSR Net June 2024, or you can go for CSR Net December 2023. You can utilize our referral code Physics Hub for getting the maximum benefits. And guys, this is my profile on an academy. You can just follow this profile, and if you visit my profile, you will get all the nine units starting from unit one to unit nine. All the nine units are there. You just need to take a single subscription using our referral code Physics Hub to get this complete. syllabus of csr net physical science and lot of benefits are there of taking class subscription you get daily live classes 
part length and full length is assignments with the digital solution proper structured course and many more things you can pause and read them all so take the academy plus subscription put a fit one step ahead towards reaching your goal if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching